One instrument down, a lot of instruments left. Which instrument am I going to learn next? I started this channel based on one fundamental idea, which was that I'm going to learn all of the instruments in the modern day orchestra. For the past three months, I have been learning the harp and I'm going to be wrapping up that instrument. It's not that I'm totally done learning it. I'm not a master at the harp. I'm not a professional harp player. And I do intend to keep learning the harp and keep posting videos about the harp as I move forward. But as some of you may know, I'm a college student and I am taking classes to learn all of these instruments. The classes are only one semester long and they take about three months from start to end. So we're getting to the end of my harp classes and now it's time for me to move on and try to learn a different instrument. I'm going to try to learn a different instrument every single semester, so that's about three months for one instrument. Now, three months is not enough time to become an expert or a professional at any instrument or anything, regardless of what it is. So I don't want anybody to come away with this thinking that I believe that I am perfect after trying something for three months. That's not what it is. But with the constraints that I have being in college and all, that's the time frame that I have for myself. Additionally, with the harp, I don't own one. I live in a tiny apartment. You can't see the apartment right now. I can. There is no space for a harp in here. So from now on, I won't really have access to a harp where I can play it and progress and keep uploading videos about it. I do intend to still talk about it, as I intend to talk about all of the instruments in the orchestra, but this video is not about the harp, it's about this second instrument. So let's get into it. I have with me here in this box, mystery box, um, my next instrument, and I'm ready to reveal it to you. Here we go. Okay, so obviously this box does not have an instrument in it and it is my microphone box if that wasn't obvious. I don't have a French horn, but I will be learning French horn next. Hopefully that fooled some of you. Maybe you thought I was going to learn piccolo or um, I, I don't know what other instrument would fit in a box like that. Finger cymbals. What's the clackety ones that like salsa dancers use? I don't know. Okay, somebody tell me in the comments. So, I have been told by many people that the French horn is the most difficult brass instrument to learn, and I was unaware of that when I selected the French horn as my next instrument. Uh, I can't really back out on it now because it's a class and I'm paying for it, so this is the situation that I find myself in. Now, I am very excited to learn the French horn. I have never learned a brass instrument in my life. I've dabbled with other string instruments. I played violin for a while when I was really young, and I've also been playing the piano since I was really young, but I've never tried anything remotely close to the French horn. So I'm excited, and I'm also very nervous about it after hearing how difficult it can be. Am I going to regret starting my brass journey on a French horn? We'll see. I've heard some people say that it's also the best brass instrument to start with because it has the smallest mouthpiece and it's easier to transition from that to larger mouthpieces. But honestly, at this point, I'm just ready to start and see what's gonna happen. I hope that at the end of my time, I could be proud of how far I've come, but I'm not exactly expecting to be that good after three months but I still hope to make content that is worthy of your views and of your subscriptions. So I'm gonna do my best, obviously. I, I have some reservations about starting with the French horn, but I'm super excited about it. In my opinion, it's the best sounding brass instrument and I am looking forward to trying it out, giving it a spin and seeing what I can do with such a beautiful instrument. So if you're excited to see an absolute beginner start on the hardest brass instrument there is, please subscribe to the channel to keep up with my progress as I learn every instrument in the orchestra. And also, if you're a brass player yourself, be sure to give this video a like and give me any tips and tricks that you possibly can down in the comments because I am going to need them. 
Otherwise, have a great day and thanks for watching. Thank you.